Welcome into another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day. I'm Michael Knight standing here with Booker T. Washington wide receiver J.J. Hester. Uh, J.J., it was pretty early on last year that I, I was at the Midwest City game where I noticed you and I looked down at the roster and I was like, crap, this guy's a sophomore. This guy has the chance to be pretty special. Uh, you had a good sophomore season and then things started really picking up with, with some big time offers. Uh, talk about going into last year. Did you expect to, to make uh, that big of an impact pretty early on in your career? Oh yes, definitely. Um, during the summer before my sophomore year, I was working really hard to get to this point. And just for my coaches telling me I was going to be doing good, that helped me out too, my confidence and all that. What's it like going, you know, uh, we talk about, you know, we talked with some of your teammates about the competition that you guys see uh, in practice alone, going up against each other. Uh, you're going up against guys like DJ Jones, committed to OSU, Dax Hill, one of the best players in the country. I got to think that that experience alone gets you ready for what you see on Friday nights. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. We have one of the best teams and the best players in the state, so that really helps us get better day in and day out. You know, helps us compete against other good teams and gets us ready. Now, Going into this season, you guys are defending champs, looking to defend that crown. You have a lot of talented guys coming back. We've mentioned them already. Um, talk about, are there any differences this off season as you guys get ready to defend that state title as opposed to chasing it the last few years? Um, yes, definitely. We have to work harder. We actually have a target on our shoulders. Everybody who wants to get that gold ball is coming for us, and we have to work hard on them and be two to three steps ahead of them. Talk about uh, your recruitment. Who are you hearing from? Uh, like, like we mentioned, you've had some some big time offers already. Uh, this is a very busy time of the year as far as recruiting goes. Who are you uh, hearing from, and any uh, any recent offers? Oh uh, well, start my recent offers. My last two were Iowa State and Michigan, and I've been getting a lot of love from Colorado a lot. Um, that's really it for right now. And I've talked to Florida State a little bit. What's it like for you as a sophomore in high school to be talking with on a routine basis with some of the top college programs in the country? Um, not to say that this, you know, success happened overnight. You, you had a really good sophomore season, but it seems like you've just really blown up in the last few months. Oh, yes, it's been amazing. I just want to thank God for giving me these talents and just being able to have this one in a lifetime opportunity to do this and to play the sport that I love. Now, when you look back at, at last year, is there uh, a moment other than the state championship? Obviously, that would be a, a very, uh, you know, memorable deal. Uh, is there a moment last year that sticks out to you as your favorite moment from your junior season or sophomore season? Um, no, I don't think so. I think state was the best to me. Yes, but it was a couple good ones, though. There you go. All right, JJ, it's been fun to, to see what you've been able to do. Uh, really looking forward to seeing how you continue to develop over the next couple of years. For JJ Hester, I'm Michael Knight, and this has been another one-on-one -on -one session here at OK Preps Media Day.